here at Coke Modular, we have really a vast uh, distillation experience. Uh, we've done both continuous and batch processes, and a lot of multi-purpose systems, uh, which have you know, saved our customers money, being able to process multiple feeds in the same system. Our thing is very complex separations, and we do all types. There's extractive distillation, azeotropic distillation, reactive distillation, and then we also have a lot of expertise in liquid-liquid extraction. One that we really excel in is extractive distillation. It's sort of a little bit of extraction, a little bit of distillation combined. It lends itself to many more degrees of freedom. Traditional chemical engineering still branches off into these developing technology companies that are taking, let's say, wood and making bottles, or are taking um, stranded natural gas and making usable chemicals out of them rather than burning them. We've also worked in distillation and reaction systems that also help solve the customer's needs and get the product that they need, uh, along with distillation as well. So it's a pretty big combination uh, that we do here. Based on the process application needs, we have many different creative ways to solve problems. We're a very uh, dedicated group of engineers, a very detail-oriented and also very uh, team-focused. We really like to work with our clients more as a team, not as a uh, customer-client relationship. The thing I enjoy about working with clients is that they come to us with concepts. They know what the end goal is, but they haven't found a total path towards it. And the fun part is working with them on making that vision a reality, and we keep the communication open between not only our team, but the client to know what they want and what's practical, and come out with a efficient solution. Anytime we have a project, we, we talk to our customers and really make sure we're listening to their concerns because only then can we really come up with the best solution. They get the sense of confidence when they deal with us that they know they can trust us to perform the separations that we say we can do. From the bottom to the top, everyone really puts their 100% effort in to do the best they can, to get the projects done well, done cost effectively and, act, and work and make sure that the process actually does go forward. A lot of times our customers will come to us with waste streams, for example, that have not just one or two components in it, but ten or more. And it gets very complicated because these components don't react with each other in an ideal fashion. And so we can take, take that and model it or do calculations on paper as much as we want, but Really, it's important to do it in a lab and see those results in person. The most difficult ones usually come with uh, the lack of data so that someone could do a design. And then people fear risk. And with a pilot test, you eliminate that risk. To get real operating data on a smaller scale and be able to use that data is very helpful. You have to vet your process and know what challenges you're going to have in your design and what conditions to expect. So the pilot plan is absolutely the first step. Uh, we've worked with companies that are you know, trying brand new technology that's never been done before, uh, biofuels technologies along with recycling projects as well that no one's ever worked on before. So I think that that is really cutting edge and getting you know, process technology forward in our world and helping everybody. Trend these days is green engineering. Uh, we have a lot of uh, new projects in house a lot from developing technology companies that are more or less trying to turn garbage into energy. Um, so it presents us with a lot of different problems that we've really enjoyed working on. We're in the forefront of new technologies, new separations, and we have clients that have very inventive ways of changing the world and we want to help them do it. Chemical engineering has limitless possibilities. People don't realize how much chemical engineering uh, results in things that you use on a day-to-day -day basis, they don't understand that. If you like math and you like chemistry, there's probably nothing better that you could be doing with it than, than being in chemical engineering. Whatever your strength is, there is a section within chemical engineering that you will have a niche in.